Hello guys, good day Welcome back sa aking youtube channel Medyo matagal akong hindi nakapag upload ng videos Kasi nabisi ako sa review for master plumber licensure exam Pero nagbabalik na ako at sa video natin ngayon Tuturuan ko naman kayo ng panibagong calculator shortcuts and calculator techniques one for one. Computing volume of solids using mode 3.3 Sa ating calculator Examples of solids are cube, cylinder, cone, spherical cone, sphere, prism, pyramid, prismatoid, first tomb of a cone, first tomb of pyramid, and spherical segments. In this video, we will not use any formulas. We will use mode 3.3 instead. By integrating this equation, a plus bx plus cx squared. So, familiar naman siguro kayo sa equation na yan. So, example number 1. Volume of sphere. A sphere of radius 15 cm contains water at a height of 24 cm. Find the volume of water inside the sphere. So, ganito yung ating magiging sphere. We have a sphere with radius of 15 cm. And the height of water is 24 cm. So, pinapakumpit lang sa atin is yung, height, yung volume ng water. So, ito ay spherical segment. So, recall lang natin yung formula ng sphere. Volume of a sphere is 4 third pi r cube and volume of a spherical segment is pi h squared over 3 times 3r minus h. So, tingnan natin yung magiging, magiging result. So, volume is equals to 4,032 pi cubic centimeter. Ha? So, using calculator. So, ganito sa ating calculator. Punta tayo sa mode 3, 3. So, sa x column, Nandun yung height from reference axis. So, ang gagawin natin reference axis is itong lowest point. So, 0. Then, next is yung mid height. Since yung ating radius is 15, so 15 centimeter. Then, yung top is 30. Then, sa y column, doon natin i-input yung cross-sectional area ng ating cross-sectional area. So, dito sa bottom, ang cross-sectional area is 0. Then, sa mid-height, siyempre, ang cross-section natin dyan is circle. So, ang the, with a radius of 15 cm. So, shift pi. The radius is 15 cm squared. Yan yung area ng circle. Then, equals. Then, sa top, 0 din yung ating cross-sectional area. Then, pagtapos nating input, AC. Hanapin natin yung, alamin natin yung value ni ABC. Para sa equation na to. Chip. Chip. One. Five. Then one. Equals. Zero yung value ng A. So, pwede nyo siyang store sa A kung may value. So, zero hindi ko na isama yan. Sige, store na rin natin. Chip, store at A. Then, chip. One. Five. 2 So, shift store Store natin sa B B Shift 1 5 3 Yung C Value ng C is C Shift store at C Then Punta tayo sa mode 1 Balik tayo sa mode 1 Then integrate Pitutin na natin yung alpha A Plus Alpha B Alpha X Yung equation Alpha C Alpha X Squared Then yung limit Yung gano'n lang ka, ano yung height ng water. So, from 0 to 24 centimeter. Then, equals. So, 4,032 pi cubic centimeter. So, gano'n. Pwede nyo ring pwede na natin tinatin isama itong A since yung value nito is 0. So, gano'n lang rin yun. Next. So, volume of cylinder. So, cylinder is Madali naman to since ang formula nito is area of the base time side, so sinama ko na rin example. So, a cylinder of radius 1.5 meter and the total height of 6, centimeter, 6 meter contains water at a height of 4.5 meters. Find the volume of water inside the cylinder. So, ganito yan. Meron, meron height. Yung water may height na 4.5 meters. Yun yung yung pinapakomplete na volume. So, area of the, so ang formula, using the formula, volume is area of the base time side. So, ang base naman yan is always circle by r squared times height. So, ang height ng water is 4.5. So, 
volume of water is 31.809 cubic meter. Using our calculator, punta na tayo sa mode 33. Input na natin yung mga height from reference axis. So, ang reference ulit natin is sa bottom. So, 0. The mid height is 3 meters. Then, 6, 6 meters yung total height. Then, yung top is 6 meters. Then, yun ba yung area ng bottom circle then? Shift by then yung radius is 1.5 squared equals. So, lahat yan ganyan. So, sa so mid-height, ganun din. Pi 1.5 squared. Ganun din sa top. Pare-paraho ng cross-sectional area. As in cylinder yan. Squared. So, then ganun AC. Alam natin yung value ni ABC. Shift 1, 5, so, may value yung A dyan kasi cylinder yan. Start natin sa A. So, nasa A na yung value. Then, ship 1, 5, 2. So, 0 ang B. So, hindi natin kailangan. Then, ship 1, 5, 3. So, 0 din yung value ng C. So, ang kailangan na natin si A. Mode 1. Balik, balik tayo sa mode 1. Then, Integrate. Since alpha A lang yung may value, so alpha A. So, hindi natin, no need to type si B at si C, since 0 naman yung value niya. Ang, alang, ang kailangan na lang natin is yung limit. <coughs> so, from 0 to height of water is 4.5 meters. So, answer is 31.809 cubic, cubic meter. So, madali lang siya kapag cylinder. Kasi pare-pareho ng cross-sectional area from bottom to top. Next, volume of cone. Yan. An, an inverted cone has a base radius of 5 cm and a height of 10 cm. Find the volume of oil at a height of 6.5 cm. Take note, yung cone natin is inverted. So, ganito ang kanyang itsura. So, ang radius na binigay is 5 cm, 5 cm and total height of 10 cm. And yung height ng oil is 6.5. So, ito lang po yung pinapakompute na volume. So, recall natin yung formula ng cone. Ano lang rin yan? One third area of the base time site. Then, for sa mapa cone, ito yung ating magiging formula. So, gamit tayo ng mode 33. 3. Ganito. Mode 33. 3. Then, height from reference line. Reference axis. So, 0. From the bottom ulit tayo. Then, at mid height is 5 cm then yung top is 10 cm yung height at the bottom ang area nyan is circle ship now 5 cm yung radius 5 bar squared so sa mid height since cone yan so ang kalati ang the radius po ng circle sa gitna is Kalahati ng 5, which is 2.5 by 2.5 squared. Okay? Then, sa top, so, 0 na yung cross-sectional area. Kasi yun yung apex. AC. Shift 1, 5, 1. Alamin natin yung value ni A. Then, store natin sa A. Shift, store at A. Then, equals AC. Shift 1, 5, 2. Equals, store natin sa B. Store at B. AC shift 1, 5, 3. Equals, store natin sa C. Shift, store at C. Then, then, mode 1. Balik tayo sa mode 1. Then, integrate. Alpha A plus alpha B. Alpha X plus alpha C. X squared. Then, yung limit, so, ang height ng oil is 6.5, so, 0 to 6.5, then, equals. So, total volume of oil is 250.57 cubic centimeter. So, that's it. Sana may natutunan naman kayo sa may kling video natin ngayon. I think, mas useful yung Caltech na yan sa mga first term solids problems. Mababawasan yung i-memorize yung formula, especially sa mga nagre-review for bar exam.
Thank you sa patuloy na support sa aking channel. Kung meron kayong questions or suggestions, pakilagay na lang sa comment section. So please, sa, sa, parkara, sa, rakabar, sa parakaray, sa ra, sa rakab, whatever. Thank you. See you sa next video. Ang <laughs>